वेलकम टू चैप्टर टू ऑफ दिस स्टोरी द एंडिंग इज नॉट नो आई लीव इथ अप टू यू टू डिसाइड फॉर द एंडिंग फॉर योर सर नाउ इमेजिन दैट सिक्स ईयर ओल्ड गर्ल वॉज प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर आर एग्जाम्स यू वॉज वेरी ऑप्टिमिस्टिक अबाउट इट दैट हे आई एम गोइंग टू सर्वाइव दिस स्कीम ऑफ एल के कैस ऑन दिस कैंसर दिस ए एल एल कैन नॉट डिफीट मी दो दे हैव गिवन मी थर्टी परसेंट चांस आई स्टिल कम आउट विद दैट फ्लाइंग कलर्स दैट्स स्टिल better odds than patients suffering from let's say other type of cancer so she was telling me that there is another cancer called as aml and the prognosis is like really bad in that sir so i was like then that's the moment when i cried that she knew that she knew that there is another type of cancer which is common in like one to year old kids and they don't even survive to that age so don't think that you are in a dire circumstance don't think that you have big enough problems any problem whether big or small cannot be compared to that miracle dreams which happened about 8 years ago and that incident is as fresh in my head i still remember the sheets of that uh, bed i still remember the ward there were six patients she was sitting right next to the window her mother was on a plastic chair the file hanging from the bed and uh, the two things which we can learn from all this is that don't complain don't crib whatever you have gotten whatever hand you have been dealt in life try to play it in the best possible way and second is if that girl knowing that she might not survive after one year or two year and she has a 30% chance of survival if she can prepare for her exams uh, in a school which doesn't even matter if she doesn't study like no one cares right but that very optimism that very reason to live the next day consoling her mother saying that there are far worse things which can happen to me preparing for the exams at the same time that optimistic outlook the positivity towards life maybe she survived because of that. i don't want to know the end to that story i in my head i think she is alive and she is doing great in her life if she is alive she will be like 14 15 year old kid right now maybe in a 10 standard going through our boards but imagine the kind of grit the tenacity she displayed that i am telling you this is story after 8 years that has left a huge imprint in my life that half an hour one hour discussion with her i can never ever forget that miracle at times she came as an angel in my life she taught me the most important lessons in my life another movie which talks about the same thing is shawshank redemption i'll quote that hope is a good thing maybe the best of the things and no good thing will ever die what scenario are you in that you are blaming your resources or your finances or your college or your education or your job or your parents or your neighborhood or your city stop doing that completely it is absolutely useless if she would have blamed herself if she would have blamed her parents her scenario it would have come to no avail the best thing she was doing was being positive being optimistic being hopeful about life and that's what i carried on with me